went to my house in 1980 fucking four and we sat there in the living room and we wrote this song called Doug and the Slugs and it goes something like this who played punk rock, punk rock songs on a radio station called K-Rock. And this is how most of the kids heard bands like Black Flag, The Adolescents, Channel 3. So, we made a demo tape when we were kids, and we brought it to Rodney on the Rock. 
who was in our city, Pasadena. And we banged on the fucking back door and we told him, he came outside and we said, hey Rodney, we're dug in the slugs and we're from Pasadena and uh, you need to play this demo tape. And he was a bit scared and if he didn't play it, we told him we were gonna come back and burn the fucking radio station down or fuck him up. So he actually played this song and this one's called Skin and Faction. cases of beer a day, but if you were on bad terms, we would rob your liquor store. So in a city in El Sereno, we tried to fucking rob the liquor store, and then the LAPD had cased the fucking liquor store out because they knew the skinheads were fucking robbing the liquor store. So they busted half of us, half of us went running down the street with the cops chasing us, and the Cholos and the El Sereno Rifa gang, and we wrote a song about it called Power Numbers, and it goes something like this. Power numbers, you know it's true. 
Oh yeah, fuck it. Oh no, hey, do you know how Doug and the Slug started? There was a record by a band called The Last Resort. You know this band? That's how we fucking started when we got that record in 1982. And we covered this song from the very beginning and it was a strange song. It's called We Rule Okay. Come on, skinheads, here we go. More fucking songs and we're going where are we going across the street after party is there an after fucking party across the street all right now okay 
When the band got started, ironically, there was an English skinhead that came from South London to Los Angeles and moved a mile from my fucking house and he was a super violent motherfucker. And I shadowed him as a kid and he, uh, he taught me how to drink Schlitz malt liquor bowl, smoke camel non fucking cigarettes at 15 years old, told me to drop out of school, which I did. And he said, hey mate, all that fucking matters is boots, braces, and a bad attitude. So we wrote a song about it.